Good morning guys and welcome back to another stunning day here in Candyland. Indeed, it's my second day here, my second morning in the beautiful centre of Sri Lanka. However, as you may have noticed, it's still pretty busy around here. Morning, sir. And rather touristy to say the least. So, the plan for today, after I've grabbed coffee through in the town, is to get as far away from here as possible. And what better point than what is apparently known as Sri Lanka's Burj Khalifa, Ambulu Wawa Tower. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, caffeine secured. I'm gonna need it. Joking aside to get up there. I now also have an Uber coming in two minutes because this is gonna take probably the best part of an hour to get there. And it's just not possible to take a bus or public transport. So I'm gonna be in the capable hands of Nandana. In Nandana, we trust. And it's going to be the first time in a long while that I've actually been in an air-conditioned car, a Prius no less, doing my bit for the environment as all of the rickshaws and buses with their various fumes go by. Anyways, I did not come here to lecture you on environmental damage. I am here to climb the Burj Khalifa of Sri Lanka. Highly caffeinated and highly infused. So I've got to look out for 7444, that's the number plate. And we will be there soon, inshallah. We will be there. Okay, let me see where Nandana is. Nandana, na, what's my name? Where is he? Where is he? Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, I know. I, ha I have a nice Toyota Prius coming. <laughs> None of this messing around with tuk tuks, rickshaws. Can I hurdle it? Yes, I can. Here we go. The European legs. Oh, that was nearly a freaky one. Right on the bum. All right, there he is. Let's get in the back of this car and out of all of the noise and pollution. Let's join him in the first class cabin. Nandana, Nandana my friend. My friend, good morning, how are you? <laughs> I'm very good, okay, I don't okay, want to okay, drop okay, my coffee. Okay, okay, no, okay. no, 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 I want to say hello. <laughs> good morning. Okay, we are going to go to Amdul Wawa. <laughs> Amdul Wawa Tower, tower, tower yeah. <laughs> There's a man there with a bag of goldfish. You see the thing on the side of the road? Is that normal? <laughs> Anyways, we've got all the mod cons in here. It's so nice. Where was I? Oh, a little electric seat going on. Everything in here. We're probably going to be about 30 to 40 minutes, I reckon, from where we are currently. So it's going to take a little bit of time. But when we get there, we'll need to take a rickshaw up to the, uh, to the entrance to the tower because I don't really fancy hiking in this heat for around one hour. We've set up fairly early to try and beat the majority of the crowds all being well, but as you can see here, at least judging by the roads, it's still pretty busy. The tower, as I understand, was opened in 2009? 2009, yeah. It's okay. an old temple. Do you know how tall it is? Uh, it is about uh, uh, 800 meters uh, <laughs> from, the, from the water level. 1200 meters my goodness i've had my coffee i'm now relaxing trying to gather my strength before what will be if you haven't got a head for heights which i'm about to find out whether i do or not quite something just passing up through the village now on this windy road which will take us all the way up that hillside and on to the tower. <laughs> All right, guys, we've made it to base camp. We're undergoing construction there, but it's a beautiful looking viewpoint here for perhaps a coffee afterwards. Mmm, and again, it smells floral. It's a candy fragrance. Anyway, now we've got to do the unfortunate dance and negotiating with the local independent rickshaw driver. So, my friend, to go up and back again, how much? Let me just move out of the way of this uh, this yeah, oncoming yeah, 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 Mitsubishi Fuso. I've heard that it can be done for as low as 1,000 if you negotiate. But let's see what the starting price is. Brother, how much can you do it for? Okay, as usual, 
when you approach a local rickshaw driver, there has to be a, a three-way conversation, it seems. Are you working or are you yeah, chatting? Late, man, it's it's what? Okay. Seemingly, the man in the red Under Armour bucket hat doesn't want to even talk to me. Anyway, let's try and find another one. Mandis has agreed to do 1500 there and back. 1500 in total, straight off the bat. Not the 2000 that has been propositioned over there with all of the nonsense when then they just stopped talking to me. So, yeah, 1500 total for there and back. Brother, do I need to buy tickets? Yeah, yeah okay. Let's, uh, let's pick up a ticket. Hey brother, how are you? I'm fine. Good, good. Just one ticket, please. 2,000. 2,000? Yes. It was 600. Uh, old price. Sorry? New price, 2,000. Thank you. All right, 2,000. It's probably about five bucks or something like that. So when you come here, make sure that you've got enough cash on you because yeah, your uh, oh you can pay on card, which is good. But yeah, generally speaking, it's easier. Thank you brother, cheers. We've got our ticket. I've got an honest driver and we're now going to make our way up to the tower. <sighs> what a ride! Look at those guys! Alright! Wow! Woo! These make sure drivers are crazy on the way down, they're not holding back! I best keep my arm in! Ambalawu, as I believe it's pronounced. <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> I didn't realize that I had spectators, but we are here. As you can see, it goes up even further than it first appeared. I've already just made my way up from essentially the base where I believe there's the temple is housed beneath. And it must have been, I don't know, about 100 or so stairs. But to get all the way up to the top, stopping presumably at the various viewpoints along the way, as people are, it's 1,000 steps. So, I'll be 10% of the way towards my daily goal today, if nothing else. However, I must survive the deadly drop from these railings, which as we get further up, as you'll see, become ever the more perilous. Here we are at the beginning of the ascent, the perilous ascent on the outside of the tower. These are the railings you can see, not even hip height. I probably got one foot of distance. Wow. But the view just gets all the more incredible with every step. Hello, my friend. We squeeze by? Okay. We have to go, uh, we have to go sideways, <laughs> I think. And this is the easy part, right? It's the easy part. Yeah, this is the easy part. So this is nothing compared to what's to come. Oh, but man, this has got to be the most rewarding view of anything that I've done like this in the world. I haven't done a tower quite like this, but I know we've seen some views and had some adventures over the past few months. Oh, just look at that. Like my hips are genu genuinely too wide to go square on there. You have to go sideways. And <laughs> now I can't quite twist my way out. There we go. That's better. This is absolutely incredible. <laughs> it's there, just barely above my head. I think in some parts, the railings themselves might even fall away. And just look at the way it's bulging out here. This was constructed in 2009, <laughs> believe it or not. Was that not the same year? as literally the Burj Khalifa. Was that not around 2009 from memory? <laughs> Anyways, look at this. This is very different for sure. I've got to get a real squeeze on. Oh, we've got some traffic. I will back up. No, here's a, like a... You good, brother? Yeah, you can go... Up. Oh, there is a passing point here, yeah. believe it or not. Look how narrow it is. The handrail here is pretty weathered to say the least. Thankfully, the conditions are really favorable for me here today. But can you imagine what this would be like if it was windy? My goodness. That's it? Is that it? <laughs> I laugh in the face <laughs> of the tower and all 
of you yellow bellies who dare not make it to the top. What of you? I need a sticker planting there. Oops. <laughs> Just banged into that, but wow. I've made it to the top. I've done something that, yeah, a lot of people might have bottled out of. I'm so glad that I did. Just look at how narrow it is again. Oh man. It was over before it started. Just gonna make it down now. I was talking with the taxi driver on the way here to understand a bit more about the people and the culture of Sri Lanka. As so far, as much as it's been great fun and a great feed in terms of the food, experiencing the local places, there's a super important aspect that we haven't yet uncovered. And that was the subject of the conversation that I was having. Now, when I've done similar in India, you tend to get some very polarizing comments. And that isn't my intention here. I simply want to relay to people who are interested what I have observed as an outsider. All right, guys, so this looks like a better place to continue with my story just before I head down there and pick up with the rickshaw driver back down the hill. Anyways, 30 years of conflict driven between the so-called Tamil Tigers and the local people here in Sri Lanka came to an end in 2009 when peace was finally achieved. And this led to a period of prosperity and political stability through until around 2017. Things began to get a lot better. However, in recent years, which might explain the reason why there has been a ban here on pretty much all social media, I think including YouTube, is as a result of the civil unrest. Now, for the most part, particularly compared to the previous chapter, the 30 years before that, it has been peaceful. But nonetheless, there was still opposition and a great degree of frustration with the political system here. And they had a very good man in place, at least according to what the taxi driver was telling me and his view of things. He was very pro-green, pro-sustainability, who was progressive. But unfortunately, some of those guys, the corrupt guys in big business, had a conflict of interest and very different interests, financial interests, in otherwise producing chemicals, all of the other things that the new style of politics was opposed to. He lost his seat in power. And it's from that point that in order to suppress the people and limit the voice, the dissenting voices, who ultimately wanted, of course, progression and for peace to remain, social media has been banned in essence. So, my friend, it's time to head down the hill. There is my reliable rickshaw driver who promised a fee of 1,500 return and being a good British lad, good to see you again, yaki da. Okay. All right, okay. let's head down. Hello, sir, how are you? Right, fine. Come a stas. All right, let's head back down the hill. I survived, driver, I survived. All right, we'll head on back down to the base camp, try and get a ride back into Candyland. All right, we are back where the day began. Au revoir to my reliable Uber driver. And now for me to hurdle. Am I gonna make it? Oh, that's a real test. Hurdle the gates once again. Back downtown in the mean streets of Candy. So, as I weave my way back through. It's been quite an adventure today up the old tower. 
With it going around midday, I've got quite an appetite. So, I think the Candian Muslim Hotel that we ate in yesterday, just over there, is calling my name. So, I'm gonna head over the road, get some food, I'll see you all in the next video.